believe it or not, right now, <clears throat> it is actually hotter in this garage than it is outside. The, um, it was like, I think my car <coughs> said it was 38 degrees in, from the temperature. And when I drove down the road, it didn't change until a little later when the temperature dropped to about 35. It was plus out. It didn't include the humidity. So it was a scorcher. Normally it's cooler in here. I opened up the door, let some heat out, but it didn't help. So anyway, what's this video about? Um, just a random, what do you call it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Tool video. Picked up. I picked up one or two new things, which I'll actually show you what I'm using for too in this video. Uh, this thing was free. With my, uh, this was part of my air conditioning unit. I didn't use it, so I was like, you know what? There was one on the, there was one of these on the sandblaster I'm fixing, so I'm gonna just recycle it. It looks pretty cheap. Uh, I also picked up, I think these were 50 cents each. There, I picked up some stainless steel screws and picked up uh, some of these little suckers. They are the self-tapping metal variety. I don't know what, I think these are three quarter inch. I also picked up some of these. These are just a standard variety, stainless. And I picked up, uh, was it a longer one? Was that it? Or did I get the wrong ones? Weird, I must've got, I guess while I was plucking through, I grabbed the wrong ones. Because nobody puts them in the back in the right place. This looks like it was used. Oh, weird. So I better get some more. Anyway, I got a, a longer version. So I'm going to... I'll show you what I'll put it on. I will show you... Over here. Uh, let me get this thing on my door here. I'll show you. I probably just scratched the hell out of it too. But you know what? It's a sandblaster. Piece of rubber here. I'll act like this and show you. There's a metal cap that goes. Let me lift this up a little, turn this down. There's a metal cap that goes on here, which I should probably try to find it. And I'll show you. There. Probably just screwed on the old way. Let me find it. Where'd it go? Where did they go? Oh, here they are. Nope, that's not it. Here they are. There's two of them in here. There is a metal bottom piece, this thing, that goes on like so, I think. Yeah, it looks like that. That's it, keeps the door all. I'm thinking maybe it goes this way. Maybe it goes that way. Yeah, it's a little better. So yeah, this, this is on the bottom, and the big plan is to screw it back. Um, these screws might, what do you call it? I have to, I, I got a pre-drill because it's a piece of hardwood in here holding together. The other screws, well, I could use self-tapping ones, are for the um, the hinges on this side. So I'll be putting the door back together. Let me go off camera here and see if I can just give these a bit of a pre-drill before I decide to do anything crazy. So hold on to your hats. I'll be right back. That's it. I know one thing's for certain. I'm not really sure what the um, algorithm is for how wide of a screw you're supposed to put in place. So if I use the wrong one size, shoot me. I don't know, I just kind of picked a screwdriver, a screw that was smaller and stuck with that. So, yeah. 
So I didn't do it right, I didn't do it right. Let's see. Oh, I dropped it. I dropped it. Who knew? All right, that's not the... Where the hell did it go? It just rolled down here somewhere. And it vanished. Is that a gas tank? Nope, that's not it. That's not it. There it is. It's under the old gas tank. All right, now. Let's see if we can get this to work. Uh, come on. Get in there. Why am I using a hand tool? Because every time I use a drill for screws like this, I always strip them and screw them up and put them too tight and break shit. So I have like a. I have a little um, Milwaukee cordless screwdriver. I don't have a fan in front of me. I should turn it on. That's what I should do. Come on. There we go. Let's let's turn the fan on. Just a little bit here. Let me put this here. Turn this off. Ah, yes. It's a lot cooler. Before, when I, I don't know if I showed you when I, when I took this apart or not, but I don't know if I made a video of taking it apart, but every single nut and screw on this machine was rusted. Next, I got to get at least, what, I don't know, six or eight stainless steel bolts. Why do I always replace stuff with stainless steel? Well, <clears throat> why not, right? <clears throat> it only makes sense if you're going to... That's what I forgot to buy. I forgot to buy a latch. So this is pretty much what I'm doing tonight. Tomorrow I'm going camping with my kids. I'm gonna go pick up some more paint. So yeah, I just picked up random, I think these are one inch stainless Phillips screws. They work pretty good. I, uh, if you, if I took a picture of it, I, I took, I didn't show uh, me scraping off the foamy things there, but I, I put a, I reinforced a piece of wood in here on all the sides so I can put screws in it. And what I did was, is I, I took a photo. I will, um, I went and sliced my thumb open. <laughs> sliced it open good too. I did the old, uh, what do you call it? Garage emergency room procedures where I click, quickly found a piece of clean paper and then used Gorilla Tape to uh, cover the wound because, you know, Gorilla Tape is the best for wounds. So now, ta-da, got this one done. I'll pause it, I'll do the next one because, you know, it's so exciting. But yeah, th this is the inside wall of the sandblaster. And I'll pop a pick up, picture up here. I put some blocks in here and give it. It probably weighs about five pounds more than it did before. Let me put this over here. Da -da -da -da. Put it on the ground. This one too is a little heavy. Yeah, see the inside. This part, you can probably see pieces broke off here. So I'm going to put the piece back on, drill a hole, and just put it right over it. Hopefully this works. Hopefully it works. So yeah, I'm going to let this like this. And like that. And there, there. Yeah, it seems like it seems like it's okay. Yeah. Maybe over a little more. There we go. Plastic broke off when I was trying to uh, take it apart. So I just... Some wood inside it to keep it there. I was going to put a secret note inside. Be like, this was repaired by so-and-so. 
I should try to remember to do that actually. Put a little top secret note in everybody. Probably find it in like 200 years in landfill. The only way, if I put a note here, the only way I'm going to remember is if I, because it is video. I mean, who in the right mind to be like, yeah, let's take apart all Chris's stuff because he left top secret letters in there. You can read 800 years from now. So anyway, there's one screw. There we go. It's almost down. It was a cheap piece of, uh, I don't know. The wood I put in here was from a cheap piece of furniture I found on the side of the road. Like it was one of those uh, fantabulous pieces of mystery pine that you find on the side of the road where nobody really knows what kind of wood it is, but it came from some country where they probably know. <coughs> Not to say it isn't good wood, it's just, I don't know. Or it's the uh, pine shelving that's got a pine board that has about 72 pieces glued to it to make one 12 inch pine board as I don't, I don't know if they're just using scraps or what but it's not yeah, there's that one nice and I think this actually secures better than the old one I can get it nice and tight and there's this one gotta check Lowe's next time there's some more screws Let's see, let's turn this around so I can get a better angle at it. And these are my doors, I gave them a cheap paint job. There's, they're not that great, but they, uh, thankfully they weren't that rusty. I didn't have to do any uh, patchwork repairs on them. So, the only thing I did forget was to can't even see what I'm doing here. Not that you want to see me using a screwdriver, but the way the way they made this is weird though. It's like you think you would think they would just make this and pop the plastic piece, just pop it in. But it's a it's a pretty sturdy piece of plastic actually. This was made uh, before the um, what do you call it? the total cheapness of everything we get now it's about 20 years old and I know now I, I, I've seen how flimsy some of the sandblasters are and I'm like you know what just raise the price and sell it cheap I'll put these on the screws here I have the I have the stainless steel bolts for the hinges and that should be anyway that's pretty much it for this video Got that. So uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh, tell me I like my channel. Toodles.